Um, I think this is working. Yes, it is. Okay, so hello and welcome to yet another Tag you the Gaming Masters. I've done it again. I hate doing that. My old channel used to be called um, Tag UK, and I just keep on going Gaming Masters. I mean Tag UK. Um, so today I'm going to be doing a Gaming Masters summary of what's happened at E3. So this is going to be everything that's happened at E3 completely. Um, wait, I jumped onto that ledge. Um, so there's been quite a few interesting announcements during the E3 period. So, the first conference I'm going to be talking about is Bethesda. I do have a separate uh, conference uh, summary that I had already uploaded onto my YouTube channel um, with all of the stuff from Bethesda. Um, I have no idea where I've got to go there. I've got to that stage so many times and just can't work out where to go. Let me just do this. Um, so... Jump down there. Somehow. Um, so Bethesda on Sunday talks a lot about Fallout 4. Obviously, their main title that they've been hyping up. I jumped too far. Um, which is going to be set in Boston. It's an RPG series that is both based after a nuclear kind of not a nuclear war, but there have been problems with nukes and stuff like that. Um, and it's set. I can't fucking do this. Um, it's been set 200 years. Before the um, previous the like war that they do actually talk about, um, so that's gonna be interesting. Um, I've never played a Fallout, so I don't know what to expect. Um, I have no idea where to go. That is really doing my head in. Um, so. They're, they also talked about Doom, um, they also talked about Elder Scrolls uh, Legends, which will be a card game. Doom has modding tools, and uh, you can use Fallout 4 mods on Xbox One. And since the E3 conference, it's actually been confirmed that they will be coming to PS4 at some point too. So do stay tuned for more information on that and how you can do it. They said that mods uploaded to best blog will then be transferable to Xbox One. But how that's actually possible, I have no idea. Um, so that will be interesting to see how they do that. And if any other games will have mods added in. Um, I need to work out where to go. This game's doing my head in. They've got some collector's editions um, for Fallout, uh, even with your own Pit Boy. Uh, so, a lot of people are fairly excited for that. If you played Fallout before, I. Uh, uh, a Dishonored remaster uh, for Xbox One will be coming, including PS4. Uh, and then they're also going to be doing a Dishonored 2, and um, we're going to be playing two characters. So that will be interesting, two protagonists in one game. Where am I supposed to go? I've never done this part of the mission before. Um, there's another Fallout game called Fallout Shelter. Um, so, Fallout Shelter is a mobile iPad game, which you can download for free right now to like, keep you going. The search on the Fallout franchise. Um, 
if you're in the chat right now, let me know what I'm supposed to do. I have no idea. Uh, so, there's also, of course, the Xbox conferences, um, which I'm about to move on to. Oh, okay, so am I supposed to, like... Hmm, oh. I think I've got it now. I'm going to try and get full health. Come on. Should be something around that corner that I can, like, climb onto. I don't have long to do it, because... Oh, shit. Okay, so that's that. Rock climbing wall. There you go. Finally. I've never seen that before when I've tried to do this. Are you sure about this, Lara? So, yeah, it's I'll come back. really interesting. I promise. Um, so let's move on to the Xbox platform now. I mean, geez, if you have not heard any of the stuff that was talked about in the Xbox conference, you have not paid any attention to the um, E3 coverage right now, because they made some humongous announcements. The first one of which is backwards compatibility for Xbox 360 on Xbox One. Now, very few titles are actually supported right now and it's not out for everybody at this moment in time. It's only available for the preview members, but um, it covers quite a few titles at the moment. There's 25 and they're going to attempt to try and get it to over 100. All it needs is approval from the key, the actual developer. The developer does not need to do a single thing. So, that's fairly interesting. They said that it would never come to Xbox One with backwards compatibility. They said it's never going to be possible. But somehow they've managed to get an emulator which uh, literally just like runs Xbox 360 system. Um... And, yeah, that is definitely going to be something to look out for because it's only, um, well, it was Microsoft and Sony that did not have backwards compatibility. Now it's just Sony. And Sony have created their own little thing, which is nothing like backwards compatibility because it's, um... Uh, streaming games from previous platforms so you don't get the full experience and you can have lag etc so I'm actually really excited about this backwards compatibility not many titles are out yet as I said earlier and I will leave a link down below to the PDF which is all of the games that are available right now uh, you can use the disc, you can put it in and it installs a disc, or if you purchased it di digitally, you can just download it digitally. Um, another game that was talked about was Gears of War Ultimate Edition, which is all of the previous Gears of War remastered for Xbox One. We also have Gears of War 4, which is the next Gears of War title. And um, the online beta is available right now for everybody to play. Uh, you do need to sign up and it ends this Sunday, but it's going to be very interesting. Uh, Fable Legends is going to have another beta. A lot of idea Xbox titles were talked about. Um, Halo 5 Guardians, Tom Clancy The Division, Assassin's Creed Syndicate. All of those titles were talked about. Forza Motorsport 6 um, was also talked about a bit more, so I think they said 24 Every tracks. So it's a bit limited in terms of tracks state. compared to previous so titles, as far as I'm aware. But if you haven't seen I the trailer yet for it, you lie. need to see the trailer because the graphics are outstanding. It's 1080p. 60 frames per second and out this September. Um, another title that was talked, another thing that was talked about for this year was the um, 
another thing that was talked about this year was the Elite Xbox One controller, which is going to completely kill Scuff Gaming. Because Scuff, Scuff controllers are custom controllers where you can change everything. And Microsoft has launched their own one. So it also kind of includes the control, that Freaks controller. So that's really kind of like interesting because if you think about it, those controllers have obviously been working with Xbox Ones and other consoles, but the um, whole overview as such of things like that is there are no um, uh, official controllers that are custom. And this is made out of stainless steel metal, so it's a lot stronger, it's very good looking controller and it's going to be $150 out later on this year, so that would probably be about £125 I would say. It comes with a whole kit to customise it and stuff, so if you're into your custom controllers and want an official one, or you just want a more sturdy controller, do go and check that out. So, another thing that was talked about is, of course, HoloLens. Uh, Microsoft will be having their very own HoloLens version of Minecraft. Um, that will be out <coughs> alongside with HoloLens. <coughs> Probably flammable. So, if I have... I have no arrows, okay. There you go. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, the whole uh, way that the Xbox conference has gone so far is very, very good. And also they've unveiled the new user interface. Now, this wasn't in the actual conference. This was in their kind of like daily summary show. Um, it looks interesting. They've made it a lot faster. It's definitely going to be better for people like me who stream live on YouTube and Twitch. And... Yeah, I'm looking forward to it because it's um, a very well done uh, interface. I mean, it's we don't know much information about it. We have no idea when it will be coming out. And it's a, a lot more modernized, it's a lot sleeker, it's transparent, it's very much like Windows 10. So if you've used Windows 10 yet, you probably know what's coming for you on Xbox One. Um, so of course, Bethesda and Square Enix, I mean Bethesda and Xbox weren't the only two conferences that took place during E3 this um yeah, so let's move on to EA. Now, there are a lot of rumours leading up to the EA conference that there was going to be some form of Battlefield tease to try and keep all the um, uh, all of the people that are like veterans to the franchise happy because, I mean, come on, the um, way that Battlefield Hardline has been so far for PC players is a real shame. I mean, there are very, very few players that are actually on PC uh, for Battlefield Hardline. Oh. Okay. Um. So... Yeah, it, they've definitely tried their hardest. Now, I thought that there might be Frostbite 4 unveiled, however, it wasn't. So, 
there won't, by the looks of it, be anything like Fallout, uh, like Frostbite 4 this year. Um, there probably will be next year with the next Battlefield title. Um, but we'll just have to wait and see for when that happens. Um, which will hopefully be very soon. Because, I mean, Frostbite 3, yeah, it's a beautiful engine. But now most titles are next-gen only. Um, I'd be quite surprised if... Um, so, I mean, Frostbite is the main EA engine, and a lot of games are going to start using it again, because they've started to put it on the, um, sporting games now. But it's a shame that not many, uh, upgrades have been made for next-gen. I mean, obviously the engine runs on next gen because Battlefield 4, etc., is all on Frostbite 3. And that was the last upgrade that we received. But it's just a real shame that um, there is literally nothing that is about, for, uh, about Frostbite 4 yet. Or Frostbite 3.5, as they did do 2.5. So it'd be nice if they did do an upgrade for the Frostbite engine soon, uh, rather than later. Um, we'll definitely be expecting one next year as the next Battlefield title, which would most likely be called Battlefield 5. Um, we haven't had much information about that yet. So, I mean... Obviously, they're all the sporting games, uh, which are now going to be using the Frostbite engine, um, and yeah. So, we saw Neva Speed at the EA conference, we saw Mirror's Edge at the EA conference, uh, so that's Mirror's Edge Catalyst. Um, God damn it, not again. Uh, so, yeah, it's... I'd, um, definitely be interested to see what, uh, other titles are gonna be made. Um, well, that machine gun's powerful. Um... So... It's not going to be particularly long until we see most of these titles. Um, obviously, there have been quite a few upgrades to the sporting titles, but the majority of the EA conference was actually sport games. There was nothing particularly interesting. Um, which is a shame because I was really looking forward to having some whole brand new shooting game as such, and there isn't going to be anything. I mean, obviously there's Battlefront, but I wanted something a bit like Titanfall or um, Battlefield or something like that, but there just hasn't been anything, which is a real shame because... Is all I really wanted. So, um, we'll just have to obviously wait and see for what they actually unveil uh, soon. Now they haven't actually um, talked about much else. Uh, obviously, there's games comes. There is a chance that there could be other titles he's the gamescom um that's in august do stay tuned for that um i have a summary of that obviously as well uh square enix is next square enix i mean they have amazing games i have no ammo for any guns so i can't shoot him i do find this game annoying sometimes oh so I mean, 
the whole Square Enix stuff just caused three Jewish sex mankind divided. Um, there was also the new Tomb Raider, Rise of the Tomb Raider. Um, I didn't really watch many of the other stuff, much of the other stuff of Square Enix, because I was only really interested in Tomb Raider and Just Cause 3, which were at the beginning of the press conference. Um, Ubisoft, nothing particularly interesting, obviously Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Um, we also had a new Tom Clancy Ghost Recon title unveiled. We had Rainbow Six Siege. We had, um, The Division, uh, which will be having a beta on Xbox One in December and early next year for other platforms, which will be, re and the game will be released March the 8th. Hopefully it won't get delayed again. Sony, not much of a Sony person, so I will leave a link down below in the description to a Sony debrief and the conference. I'll leave the link to all of the conferences down below, actually. Um, so it has been interesting. Um, I would I would have done a more detailed uh, summary, but because I'm using the inbuilt streaming for Twitch. But yeah, because I'm using the inbuilt um, streaming for Twitch, I can't actually um, change games halfway through, which is a real shame because I wanted to change over to like Battlefield or something. But of course, that's not a facility that we have available for copyright reasons on Xbox One. So I will be doing other videos, live streaming on Twitch, etc. I'm going to really try and boost the Twitch channel over the next bit of time. Um, I get my PC on Monday, so I'll be able to stream directly from my PC, which will mean I'll have better streams, I can change games, I can play PC, etc. So do stay tuned for that, and yeah, thanks for watching this. Um, debrief of all of the E3 stuff. I haven't done much in this debrief, but I will leave a link down below to all of the press conferences for you to watch. And don't forget to like, follow, and of course, as always, subscribe. It's very much appreciated, and see you in the next video.